This is Laura Latinsky, a 59-year-old Canadian photographer. She got her Bachelor of Fine Arts from the University of Manitoba in 1986 and her Master's of Fine Arts from Yale's University School of Art in 1991. She is now a professor at the University of Chicago in the Visual Arts Department. Although Laura's style of photography has changed throughout the years, she always wanted to answer the important question of what does a photograph really mean? While answering this question, she also addressed important topics in her art such as gender, domesticity, and consumption. Throughout the 1990s, Laura's subject focus was relationships and love. This collection was titled Venus and Ferd, shown here. Laura's reasoning for this subject is stated here from an interview. Quote, we produce photos that show us what love is supposed to look like. Then we enact in our everyday lives the conventions depicted in visual media. I wanted to break out of that cycle and to break out of the conventions of the genre in which I was working. I would categorize these images shown here from Venus and Ferd as interpretive and aesthetically evaluative. She later made the decision to switch her photography style and started capturing still life. Shown here are some of her works from her still life series. I would categorize these photos as aesthetically evaluative, interpretive, and theoretical. She was, quote, stifled by the conundrum of the romance narratives with his inevitable failure, especially as it was relayed through the photograph. Another kind of failure in is that it's promise would never fully be fulfilled, end quote. Once she began capturing still lifes, she realized that she could explore the tension between the small and minute and larger social structures. During this time, she was heavily influenced by Jan Gruber and Giorgio Morandi. As for, she appreciated their art style, since their photographs don't scream what it's about the second you look at it, it's all about the process. In the midst of finding her new photography style, she created this unique aesthetic for her photos that was recognized across her works. When Latinsky was asked about her techniques when capturing these photos, she said she does a lot of grunting. She's a type of visual thinking that just can't be communicated. She compared it to someone asking you why you love someone. It requires such a deep response that just can't be expressed through words. In 2009, she took a break from photography for a year to explore other mediums like ceramics, textiles, and words. When she returned in 2010, she continued her work with still life photography. Although it's hard to pick just one, I would say my favorite aspect of Laura's work would have to be her attention to detail and her composition in her still life work. I appreciate and love how staged it all is, but also how effortless it looks at the same time. I think lighting plays a huge role in all of her photographs, and I think without it, the image would not make the same impact as it does with the lighting that she uses. Overall, I love her continuous aesthetic. It creates such a comfort and such a satisfaction just from looking at it.